Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back again with another Lush shower gel review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Honey I Washed the Kids shower gel and I know that I don't normally do reviews like this with my face but hi hello I'm here today just like with the last shower gel review of the Prince Charming shower gel which to be fair I did actually want that video to be up around about uh, Valentine's Day or before Valentine's Day while that actual shower gel was still available, but it doesn't matter. We're here now and this is what I'm reviewing today. Now I know that there's probably like a thousand reviews of this particular shower gel on YouTube right now, but this is my review and mine might be very, very different from somebody else. So with having said that, on the front of this shower gel does say, God bless mother nature for giving us all the honey and exotic flowers we've squeezed into this bottle. Sweet softening gel for honey scented hair and skin. And honestly, the scent of this is actually to die for. I love the smell of this. Mmm, it really smells like a sort of slightly floral honey, but so good. Like there's this really, really, there's this one type of honey that I really, really, really enjoy. I can't remember what the type is called, but it's so freaking good and it smells just like this. It like, when I use this in the tub for, uh, for bubbles or when I just use it as a shower gel, it really does make me feel like I'm bathing <laughs> with the honey that I really, really like. This one's actually really out of date. It, it, it was supposed to be used by the 11th of May, 2020. But it's okay. I mean, I've seen videos of people using seven year old shower gels and they are no more worse for wear. I mean, there's a lot of this little coagulation at the bottom, but like, are you really going to die if you use a shower gel that's a little bit out of date? I don't think so. <laughs> so the shower gel being out of date aside, I'm going to now read out some of the information on this particular shower gel from the Lush Australia website and then we'll go on to the US website. So it says on the Australian website, when your skin's crying out for some TLC, honey, I wash the kids will come to the rescue. God bless mother nature for providing all the honey we pack into our luscious gel that nurtures as it washes. Honey is used for its many benefits for the skin, a natural antiseptic. It soothes and helps it retain moisture. We also add softening rose hip oil for good measure. Or bergamot and sweet wild orange oils adds brightness and lifts the mood. 100% agree with that. I don't really get the citrus kind of notes in the background of this particular shower gel, but I know that some people do. And I mean, that's what I mean. Nobody, no two people have the same nose, if you know what I mean. So on the Lush Australia website does have the ingredients listed as honey, Brazilian orange oil, bergamot oil, and then rosehip, lotus flowers, and tiger lily infusion. And then if we go over to the Lush America website where it will actually list all of the benefits. Oh wow, it's actually out of stock on uh, the USA website right now. I think that's just for the tiny little one though. This one's the 100 grams. I don't know what that is in ounces or rather fluid ounces, but it does say that the 3.3 fluid ounces is out of stock right now. Oh, maybe they're all out of stock. But anyway, let's just go ahead and read out the information. So it does say here, packed with mega moisturizing honey, this is one toffee scented sudza the whole family will love. I mean, yeah, if I'm the whole family, then yes, because my husband hates the scent of this one. <laughs> That's okay, more for me. So it does say that the honey locks in moisture, orange oil refreshes and bergamot oil cleanses. And it says that the scent profile is sweet. So here we have honey for moisturizing and cleansing, Brazilian orange oil for fragrant, uplifting and cleansing, and then bergamot oil adds shine, cleanses, and it is also uh, an uplifting fragrance. Oh, I can literally sit here all day and just sniff this shower gel. It's so freaking good. And I know that this is like a fan favorite. I know that so many people like it and so many people are probably sick of hearing about it, but I love it. I have not been a lushy for as long as most people. Actually, I'll tell you when I created my account and then you'll know how long I've been using Lush for. So my account was created on the 2nd of January, 2019. So the first Lush product that I was ever actually, uh, that I ever actually owned was actually a Christmas present from Christmas of 2018. My friend gave me the, the Golden Wonder Bath Bomb and the Shoot for the Stars Bath Bomb 
for Christmas in 2018. So that was actually the first time I ever had my hands on a Lush product for myself. In the past, I've bought many, many products from Lush for my mum, but this was so many years ago. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this different kind of review that I've given for you all today. I do actually have an Instagram where I post sneak peeks of things that are upcoming to my channel, such as the bath bomb demos that are going to be coming up and all that kind of good stuff. I also post what wax melts that I'm melting whenever I melt wax melts on my Instagram. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, it's just spiritual amethyst on Instagram. It is linked on my channel and in the description box down below. And if you guys have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please consider doing so. And while you're there, why not click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video. And if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to click the like button and let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very much for watching and until next time, bye bye.